Hey guys, I'm Comic Nice and welcome back to a brand new video. So today is going to be a Star Wars day. Yes, that's right. Star Wars Celebration just ended in Orlando this past weekend and they dropped a whole bunch of news. But first, let's talk about the 40 year old, the 40 year anniversary panel of Star Wars. And they, they went all out for the panel. They brought all the original cast out. They brought out some of the cast from the prequels, which I know a lot of people didn't like, but I enjoyed them. They were all right. I do see the flaws in them, though. I do see the flaws in them. But even Hayden Christensen was there, which was pretty cool because I don't think he's ever shown up, at least not in a while, to like a Star Wars convention. So that was cool that he even showed up. And um, then they had the moment that everybody was expecting. They had a very thoughtful tribute to Carrie Fisher, who we lost early this year. Or was it late last year? I think it was early this year. And it was it was a very touching moment. Um, there was not a dry eye in the room. Trust me, man. Uh, even John Williams came out and played a symphony while they were going. They were showing this montage, and it was just very touching. It was well done. And it was a it was a good way to show how much they cared about Carrie Fisher and how much Star Wars meant to Carrie Fisher. You know, she was Princess Leia. It wasn't the character she played. She was Princess Leia. She owned that. But anyways, after that, the next day, man, they started dropping things left and right. So the next day at the the Last Jedi panel, of course they had to do it. They dropped. The Star Wars Episode 8, The Last Jedi trailer. And it's a, it's a good trailer. It's an actual trailer. It's a two-minute trailer. And they give us a lot of stuff, you guys. Um, they still, we still have not seen Luke yet. We've seen a glimpse of him. But we have not seen him yet. We got to see him train Rey. We got to see her with the lightsaber. She's on the island training. Uh, we get to see uh, Finn. He's like in a... Tube. I guess he's still healing from his injuries. We got to see Poe Dameron for a second in a glimpse. We got to see uh, Kylo Ren for a very short period. So uh, we got to see pretty much everybody. But the main thing everybody was talking about was the voice that was in the trailer. Saying that one thing I know is that it's time for the Jedi to end. And a lot of people were, weren't sure who said that. But now we know for sure. For sure. That it was Luke who said that. It was Luke Skywalker who said it. And I think it makes sense. If you think about it, it really does make sense. Because in episode 6, The Return of the Jedi, when he when he was going to kill the Emperor, and you know he fought Vader, he, he was angry. Luke used his anger in that fight. You saw as he struck down his father and cut off his father's arm. Well, it was a mechanical arm, so it's not technically his arm. But you get what I mean. Anyways, he cut off his arm out of anger. That wasn't out of passion. That was out of anger. He had used anger to feed his power. And that is not the Jedi way. Technically, he's a, Je he's a Jedi school dropout. He never finished. He left and went to go save his friends. But anyways, I think that makes sense for him to say that. Because the Jedi, the way they did things, did not work. They always died. They always lost. So, I think... If he's going to rebuild the Jedi Order, one, they can't be called the Jedi, and two, they have to, some ch thing, changes have to happen. Like, and for example, I think the main thing that has to change is you should not bottle away your emotions and never use them. I think that in the right moment, you need to use your emotions, especially anger, especially anger, rage. If you use them in the correct way, and don't use them out of spiteness, but use them in a way of passion and righteousness, it could work to your advantage. And it can make you powerful, but still stay in the light side of the force and not drift off into the dark side. And so I think it makes sense that he would say that. And then they didn't even stop there, you guys. So the next day we got the trailer for Rebels, which I like Rebels, but I wasn't ecstatic for it. But I know a lot of Rebel fans went crazy for it. When they had like... A press conference and everything for it because so many people was ecstatic about it. But anyways, and then on the last day we got what I what I feel like is the second most greatest thing that they dropped. 
was the trailer for Battlefront 2, the video game. Now, I'm a huge fan of Star Wars Battlefront. I love the first game. That is like my all-time game for Xbox One. I played like almost every day. And then I see this trailer. And I think they heard what everybody was talking about. A lot of people loved Battlefront, but a lot of people didn't. And the re main reason why a lot of people didn't is because there was no storyline. And this has a storyline mode that you can play through. So it's an actual game that you can play through and have missions and stuff. And then you also have the online world that you have with this one. With the Battlefront 1. And that opens up a whole new world of possibilities. So also what they'll probably do is because you know now the way the online gaming world is with Xbox One Live and uh, PlayStation Live that you can play the story mode live online with other characters or while other characters are playing their their mode and stuff. So I think when this game comes out, you guys, I don't know if they released a, a uh, release date yet, but when this game comes out, you guys, people are going to go bananas for it. And trust me, I'm going to be in line. I'm going to be in line at GameStop or Walmart or wherever I can go to get my hands on it, but I'm going to get that game, trust me. But one thing that a lot of people were troubled by, and I was troubled by, is like, okay, we got the Battlefront trailer, we got the uh, Last Jedi trailer, we got the Rebels. They didn't talk about Han Solo, which I didn't think they would, because it doesn't come out until May, so you can wait for D23 for that, or Comic Con. That's coming up soon, you can drop a trailer for that later on. But one thing that was troubled was that, okay, almost... Everybody from the pre prequel era did a little video for the fans. Oren McGregor, the one who played Obi-Wan Kenobi in the prequel, did not. He was the only one who was absent. And that raises a big flag for me. And now, uh, Comic-Con's coming up, and then you got D23 that comes out in September, which is like Disney's Comic-Con. I feel like we'll get an announcement either at Comic-Con or D23 that there will probably be a Obi-Wan movie because they said they're going to do another uh, anthology film because we, we had Rogue One and then we got Han Solo coming out next year and then you got one that's slated for 20, year, the year 2020 and I think that's going to be, uh, be uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi I hope it's not Boba Fett I don't want a Boba Fett movie I know a lot of people love Boba Fett and I, and I understand if you do, but I think you should leave that character alone and do an Obi-Wan movie, man. Because you think about it, we have at least 20 years that we don't know what he did. He was just on Tatooine doing whatever. And I think that'd be a great movie to explain leading up to, you know, Luke finding him and then they go off on the journey in the, uh, the original films, that'd be a great movie to show how it led up to that. Or maybe even go back even further in when he was a Padawan training with Qui-Gon Jinn. They probably won't do that, but I think just uh, explaining the 20 year gap in between the movies, between episode 3 and episode 4, I think that'd be a great timeline for a movie. Also, uh, Kathleen Kennedy, who's the head of Lucasfilm, said that Carrie Fisher will not be in Episode 9, like we originally thought. But she didn't say Princess Leia. She said Carrie Fisher. And that raises a flag. Because because she said that, that makes me think they're going to recast her. They're going to recast Princess Leia. And I, I was thinking that's what they're going to do. And it makes sense. I mean, I don't want them to. But, I mean, they're in a, cor a tight corner and they don't really have much of a choice. It's either write off the character, um, do like a bullshit scene of her just getting exploded in like some ship, or recast her. And at least, at least if you recast her, you can write off the character. You can just have somebody come in, be uh, Princess Leia or General Leia for one more movie, and right off that timeline, right off her arc of the story and get that character out there and then put it, put that character to rest. At least that way you can get a little bit more closure with that char character. I like what they did with the uh, Fate of the Furious and the Fast and the Furious uh, franchise with Paul Walker. I mean that was a little bit of a different situation because they had they were in the middle of filming 
so they had to be a little bit more creative. Whereas with this movie, they but they were completely done. Carrie Fisher died, so their hands were tied. So I think in their best interest, in the best interest of the franchise, would be to recast Princess Leia for Episode Nine, so they could end out her storyline for the movie. And I know a lot of people aren't going to like it. And no matter who they get, they can get Meryl Streep for this. And I know a lot of Star Wars fanboys are going to be like, that's stupid. She ain't going to work. She ain't Princess Leia, man. Well, nobody's Princess Leia. Carrie Fisher, like I said, Carrie Fisher was Princess Leia. But she's gone. And there's nothing else you can do about it. So they're in a tight corner. And probably the best situation would to be recasting. That's the be that's your best option for the for this situation, is to recast her for one more movie and then play out the storyline. So I want to know what you guys think. Are you guys excited for this movie? I know I am. What do you guys think about all this news? Uh, was you expecting a little bit more news? Um, we didn't get nothing about episode nine, which again you don't have to do that. Episode nine is two years away. We probably won't even get like the storyline or even find out the title. Till the year it comes out, like they did with Last Jedi. But let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. And as always, you guys, please subscribe, please give me a like, and please share this with your friends. I'm trying to get this channel to grow so I can bring you guys more great content. So if you want more great content, please share my videos. And as always, you guys, have a great day and stay nerdy.